Hello, glorious, weird, roadside tunnel, spillway, stream, creek thing. How the hell are you today? Fished you one time a long time ago, but you guys never saw that because I caught one crappie and I snapped a $300 rod because I slipped in the mud and fell on it with my fat ass. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try it again. Kind of just stopping by on the way to somewhere else to see if I can catch a couple crappies and eat them because I'm hungry and it is lunchtime and I brought all the supplies to make a very, very special recipe. So uh, yeah, let's do it. What is going on, you dirty old stash bags? It is me, and I'm off the side of the road at this weird little stream creek thing. Water's super clear, looks super clean, and uh, like I said, I caught one crappie here in the past, and it was a pretty decent one, and I've never fished it again. And uh, yeah, just kind of spur the moment on my way to somewhere else, I figured I'd stop by and see what the hell is going on. So we got a bobber, jig head, gold minnow, and uh, we're just gonna float it around, see if we can't pick a couple off. I can't imagine there's a lot of fish here. Um, so yeah, I mean, we don't need much. It's just for me, I'm not taking them home. I'm just hungry and I brought the supplies to make one of my favorite recipes for crappy. It's one you guys have never seen before. It starts the same, but it finishes off a little different. That doesn't make any sense, but it will. So uh, yeah, come along with me, see if we can catch some lunch out of this little tiny crystal clear stream spillway tube thing. Up out. Oh. Righty. Starting it out with the uh, bobber about, I don't know, foot and a half, two feet down. We're gonna kind of concentrate on this side pool over here. And uh, yeah, just kind of slack water. I'd imagine they'll be sitting on it or by the edge of it. I don't know if there's any fish here. Water's kind of low, but it's clear. So if they're around, they should be able to see this damn thing from a mile away, hypothetically. There's no length limit on crappies. So, I mean, we can keep small ones, but ideally we'd rather not. I don't have the highest hopes, but I do have hopes, so hopefully, oh. Got me a small one. Right away, first cast. Too small to keep though, but. First cast, little baby crappy. Gonna have to maybe walk down and release them a little nicer, but. Cool, that didn't take long. Let's keep it going. See if we can upgrade and get some to eat. I ain't done a catch and cook in forever, so uh, yeah, I figured we were about due for a catch and cook. I also want to say, uh, longtime subscriber, first light angler, said he wanted something different than spillways. And while this is a spillway, it's kind of like a creek or stream or something. Basically, it's still a spillway, but I'm doing a catch and cook for him. And my boy Ruben's always asking for him, so we'll see if we can get it done. We got to catch some crappies bigger than that, though. And that. This one's even smaller. That wouldn't even make a fish stick. But if there's crappies here, hypothetically, there should maybe potentially be a couple bigger ones too. I don't know. We shall see. Based off the size of that one, it's not looking good, but you never know. And we don't need them to be huge, but that one was like a newborn, so we ain't gonna keep him. Can't believe how clear the water is. Absurd. I want to walk down there and look around and see if I can see them, but then they might be able to see me, so we'll hold off. Oh, one had it. Another one, though. I mean, they're stacked up in here. That is for sure. Just gotta figure out if there's a different year class in here or not. Because I'm hungry. Need me some lunch. Better? Uh, getting closer to what we're after. I mean, he'd make some pretty decent fillets. He's thick. We're going to have to decide now, though. Because, I mean, there's probably not that many in here. So, I mean, we can't start deciding to keep the small ones after a while. Because then there won't be any small ones. That's just how it works. The damn fish know, I tell you what. You say you're gonna keep them, they hear you. The next one we catch is a decent one, then we're we're keeping some smalls. That's a decent one. He's stuck on something though. That one we'll keep if we can get him off this post. He's still on, just wrapped. And he's definitely edible. You guys see him? He's pretty big actually. I just don't know how he's so stuck. We get him, we're eating him. <gasps> we got him. 
<laughs> Hell yes. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. All right, going to get my basket and catching and cooking a crappie. Hopefully we can get some more and uh, yeah, pretty cool spot, clean water. Special recipe coming up. Ba pow All righty, crappie buds in the bucket. And there's aquarium water. This shit is so clear, it's ridiculous. I'll have to show it to you eventually, but it's it's absurd. Flowing water too, so I bet he's gonna taste delicious. Hopefully we can get him a couple friends to eat. But honestly, I suppose one will work, maybe. I'd like to get like three or four. I wanna catch enough that I can get like full. Ah, not quite. I mean, look at the comparison. Not sure if you can really see him, but this is like about half the size as old bud up there. I've always wanted to make a video here, like, but I mean, I fished here once and I only caught one crappie, so I never, never did, but it just looks so different. Fish a lot of damn spillways. This one is, uh, this one is unique, and I mean, technically it's not a spillway. I mean, it is spilling into a way. That was a better one. But I mean, technically it's just a creek. I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. Anywho, let's see if we can stack up a few. So many of them. They're just loaded. Wrong size, but they are in fact loaded. This is fun. This is fun. Catching craps out of a little stream thing. Can't beat it. Well, we can beat it if we catch a few more big ones. But it's looking like we're gonna have to weed through some runts first. I mean, it's fun that we're catching, but I don't really wanna keep small ones. I mean, I've kept small ones before, like eight or nines. I personally think eight or nines are better myself. Normally, I'd rather let those 12s go, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess they're a little bit more bang for your buck as far as meat goes. I think I got bit. Yep. But we might have to add a couple uh, schmedium ones if we can get them to the pile because yeah, I'll do I'll do a single crappie catch and cook I guess if I gotta but ideally we want a couple at least keep going through them but definitely a lot of fish this is going much better than I expected much better I didn't think this would work so guess we'll take what we can get and eat it see if we can get another bigger one or even just a couple smaller ones whatever works Better, better. Keeping his ass. He's smaller than the first one, but he's bigger than any of the other ones. Probably about eight or so. She'll eat. Sorry, 12 incher. I normally wouldn't keep you, but I'm hungry. You ain't gonna go to waste, and you're gonna be delicious. Unless I figure out a way to screw it up, which is possible, but. One of my favorite fish recipes of all time, and I've never, ever put it on a video, so I'm pretty excited. They kind of shut off for a second, but we're going again now. They are going again now. Better, better, better. There we go, getting a little tougher, but size is getting bigger. I'm kind of sick of catching tiny ones anyway, so. We gonna have a good lunch, boys and girls. <clears throat> By we, I mean me, and you can watch me eat it, but if I could share some with you, I would. I would, I really would. Physically impossible though, so I can't. But quit getting bites, so I shallowed up the bobber. Well, first I threw uh, my jig head without a bobber. That was a bad idea, I got snagged instantly, so. Then I deepened up my bobber got snagged instantly shallowed up my bobber started getting bit again not a very deep pool so and even though it's not ice fishing season crappie still generally speaking feed up so it's better to be above them than below them hypothetically of course all right well i'm gonna keep dibble dabbling around and uh see if i can't get a couple more decent ones and uh, we're gonna go find somewhere to cook these bad boys. Probably not gonna do it on the side of the road because big uh, farm equipment keeps driving by and yeah, it's loud and kind of scary. 
So we'll go find somewhere to cook these and then go from there. Eat them up, give you the recipe, tell you how they taste. I already know they're gonna be good, but it's been a while since I made them, so maybe they're not as good as I remember, but I doubt it. That's a bigger one. There we go. There we go. Numero five. Pretty much been able to catch them at will. It's been pretty fun. Caught about 50 or so. It took a little bit of time to figure them out, but uh, yeah, once they started chewing, they started chewing. A couple lulls for like a minute, but other than that, it's pretty much been just constant. So it's been fun while it lasted. I could sit here and catch them all day and be happy about it. But I think it's time to uh, pack up with our five crap eyes, which is uh, about what we wanted. We have a few leftovers for later in the day. That'll be, uh, I mean, I'm fine with that. I mean, it's just, I can't believe how many crappies are just stacked right here. I mean, it's a long stretch of creek. For this many to be sitting by this one piece of rebar, is just incredible but i guess it is just kind of a crappie time of year you know they're easy to catch right now and um yeah these fish might be trying to spawn but i highly doubt they successfully spawn in creeks in nebraska could be wrong but so i don't think we're hurting the population at all and uh yeah we definitely ain't hurting our tummies at all can i get an amen a eh? man all right i can't stop myself but i need to stop myself eventually so i'll uh, cut out all the rest of me fishing here and we'll go straight to, to eating and cooking nope another one had it did he drop it that was a keeper i probably should have tried a little harder but i didn't testing testing one two one two are you working all right well we are at uh at a different spot like i said i didn't really just want to clean them on the side of the road so i picked a different spot to clean them on the side of the road i'm going to show you how to clean one of these we've got five total um i'm not the best at cleaning fish so i don't even know why i show you guys anymore but uh yeah we'll do our best we got our knife from uh, steel pig forge that uh, needs a cleaning we bled the crappies out and um yeah so they shouldn't be nearly as messy i don't know if this is the bigger one yeah, I think it is the bigger one. He's really not that big, but pretty decent for a little stream creek thing. But go behind the fin, cut down to the spine. You guys even see any of this? Probably good enough. Good enough for who it's for. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's mean. I just always say that. Please don't be offended. Then cut down the back. Get to about the uh, butthole region. Shove said knife through to said butthole region. And then bring it down to the tail. Then... I start splitting it from the top till it gets to the skin. This meat's looking fresh. Let me get it to about there. Hopefully you guys can see that, but then you're gonna wanna shove your knife through there without hurting yourself. And then um, I just bring it down. Um, but yeah, then flatten it out, get rid of the skin. Not the flattest surface here, cause it's a tailgate, but we're making it work. And I've seen, I've seen uglier, I've seen prettier, but she'll eat. So uh, yeah, gotta do the other side of this one, the other four and then get to cooking and stuff all righty crappies are cleaned and um, we've had them soaking in frank's red hot for about 15 minutes i know i know that's like the same thing that i always do but we're doing something a little bit different and uh, i'll show you at the uh, end so uh yeah next step hopefully the wind doesn't blow it out but let's see if the old dirty coleman will even start i haven't used it for a little bit so also you guys want to see the dirtiest grill in north america check this out d disgusting i don't even know what all that stuff is i think there's some bugs yeah there's definitely some bugs almost looks like vomit to be honest with you four thousand likes on this video and i'll clean it i'd almost prefer if you didn't get there all righty let's uh put our cast cast iron skillet on there that's uh it's also dirty but that's kind of the point of a cast iron skillet all right wish me luck i think it's working it's working little bottle of uh, peanut oil if it's not peanut oil it doesn't matter in my opinion hopefully this is a even surface it is not but close enough i don't want to do too much oil the fillets aren't too big all righty we're gonna let that heat up dump our uh, fish in here and i'll show you the last step after that all righty oil is not quite ready but it's getting close so let's transfer these bad boys over oh wait don't look at this no hints i'm just kidding it's probably in the title that's sweet chili sauce we'll do two batches five at a time 
All right, let's give the oil a test. Mm, pretty hot. Let's give it the dunk test. Yeah, I suppose it'll heat up pretty quick. Probably could have used a little bit more oil, but oh well. Good enough for who it's for. <laughs> this time I'm talking about me. That smells good. <laughs> and it's gonna be. Alrighty, our crispy golden crap eye fillets are done. But one more step. Basically, like I said, I mean, basically the same shit I do every time, but we got this. Probably should have brought a little bit more of that. And that is sweet chili sauce by Frank's Red Hot as well. But uh, we didn't, so we're gonna make it work. So we take our baggie. You gotta make sure to let your uh, fish cool down a notch as to not burn the Ziploc bag. Not sure if they would, but I've never tested the waters. I also uh, ate two of them already. So I did test those waters and they were pretty good beforehand. But they're about to be even better. Basically just like cooking chicken wings. Fry them first, dump your sauce on. Pretty healthy portion. Yeah, I guess we had plenty. So now, you take them in your bag and you just do a little flippity flop. What do you got? But one more step. We're gonna let these soak in here. Drive back to the creek. We got one more thing to put on these. And it's almost a requirement. See you there. All righty. They are ready. Sweet chili, fish wings, crappie wings, whatever you want to call it, with the final ingredient. Green onions are in fact required. All righty, well, chilling on the side of the road. Hopefully somebody doesn't drive by in a combine again because my truck's kind of in the middle of nowhere just for a thumbnail. But anyway, let's try this stuff. I'm starving. Mm. Just as good as I remembered. Kind of left them in the bag a little too long. It kind of steams them up a notch, but we're still getting some crunch. Cheers. Oh, so good. Alrighty, well, I'm going to finish up my uh, meal on the side of the road, but I'll save that for after I end the video. And um, yeah, new spot, catch and cook. I haven't done one forever. I should probably do them more. I think most of the time when I do a catch and cook, I feel like I got to keep like my limit of crappies but by the time i get done cleaning them i'm so over it that i'm just over it but i don't know catching a few just to eat some lunch i'll be doing more of these let me know if you want to see any more catching cooks and uh yeah i guess let's just wrap this up if you like this video give this video a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe this recipe is definitely something you could try and it's really easy basically all you got to do is fry your fish put it in a bag and put on some sweet chili sauce it's uh i can't stress enough how good it is and uh yeah Thank you for watching, really appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you soon. Stuff and things, hope out.